By now, you know what my dog wants you to do. Now, let's get to coding. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to use Base64. Pretty much, say you have an image, you uploaded it, but you need it to be in Base64 for whatever reason. This video is gonna cover how to do that. I hope it's useful. I don't think it's the most efficient way of doing this, but like many resources out there, some may be complete, some may be incomplete, and regardless, you could use either one to you know, put yourself in a better position than you were originally in. So I'm starting with an image. It's this image right here. <laughs> I found this on the internet a while back and I think it's hilarious. I know I use Bernie a lot. I love my dog, but that one just made me giggle. So I'm deciding to use this. So I'm already importing it as LOL for laugh out loud up here. And so let's get to coding. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up the HTML, and then I'm going to come up and write the function and then set up the state and then show you how we take an image and then get the base, you know, 64 from it. So let's get to doing that. All right, so we have this right here. We have a ton of errors. So what I'm going to do next is set up the state and then write the function to get the base64 encoding stuff from the actual picture. All right, so now that we have this down here, we have this image. Yeah, I said image. <laughs> I really wanted to type IMG, but, you know, sometimes being uh, late at night, I screw up things. So what I have is just the header, the image, which is coming in from this file right here. And so that's being set as the source. And there's really not much going on there. I have some breaks here to make it visually a bit more interesting. And then I have this on change here. So when I click this to upload an image, what's going to happen is this event is going to come up. And since it's going to be of a type file, I'm going to know that at the first index here, that that's where I'm going to be getting the actual image from. Then I create a file reader object. And maybe I need to brush up a little bit more on here. But basically what this is doing is going through and changing it to base64 for me. So I'm setting the image right here to the base64, and then I kind of complete the process by having read as data URL, and that finalizes everything. So even though this isn't base64 right here, let's go ahead and choose a file. Let's use a picture of... my dog. And we can see there was a slight delay, but now my dog is right here. That's cool. That's the most important thing to me. What we see now is that we have this base64 encoding as we go all the way down. And yes, these things are treacherously long. That's why I have just this hard-coded CSS styles on here, and I have the word wrap break word on here. But this is how we're able to, in a very simple manner, 
take our images and then convert them to base64. Now is this the cleanest, most, you know, um, perfect coding style inspired way to do it? No, I don't think so. And I think there could be changes built on top of this to make it even better. But one thing I did add in here is that since the use state is controlling with the sources right here, if you wanted to come in and just zero this out, you could just clear source. Now you have a broken photo. You may want to have clear source be something that, you know, just removes the, you know, not the button, but the image altogether off of the page or displays none or whatnot. But this is how you're able to upload a file, a photo in React, and then get the base64 encoding from it. And yeah, like, share, subscribe if you like this content. Sorry if I sound a little tired, but um, see you in the next videos.